So welcome to my backyard. This is the Wild Treasures of an Outdoorsman YouTube channel. And this morning I was shooting my bow and I thought maybe I'd pass on a little tip to you with spring gobbler season over and the summertime on the horizon, we need to start thinking about archery season, start practicing with our bows and getting out here and shooting our 3D targets and waiting patiently throughout the hot summer for archery season because that's my favorite time of year. I love it when it's archery season and uh, also like the preparation. Now, when you talk about preparation and I think about the one thing that I did that improved my archery setup, in other words, target practice. What is the one thing that I did that improved my accuracy? I struggled. I struggled for a lot of years. I couldn't shoot a recurve bow. I have a recurve bow and I shot it, but I was never consistent with it. When I went to the compound bow or the cam bow and all the advances that came with that, yeah, hand releases, sights, peep sights, anti-vibration devices on our bows, bow strings, all of those things. And I still struggled pretty much because I didn't know how to set up my bow, number one. And number two, didn't realize that the industry, and I'm not going to name any names here, but the industry every year promotes products that are not necessarily in a hunter's best interest. Okay, sometimes sights, sometimes the bow rest, sometimes the releases. They, they promote new products and get away from what really works. And I made this discovery because I was watching this guy on YouTube named Troy Fowler. He calls himself the Ranch Fairy. And uh, he's got a pretty good YouTube channel. I'm just going to plug it here. But uh, I learned from him that your arrow is just as much as important as your bow set up and uh so i paid attention to what he was saying and i made some changes and i was shooting what the industry was telling me i needed to hunt with the faster the better the more accurate the expandable broadheads and the skinny little arrows because they go faster and all this sort of thing i listened to all that and i thought i was on the right track it turns out i wasn't so what's the single most important change that i ever made that made me a better bow hunter not necessarily a better archer i don't want to be a better archer i want to be a better bow hunter so i went back to a fred bear style arrow what's that mean it means it's a stiff arrow i have here what i changed to two years ago like i said i just dropped all those skinny little arrows that were super super light and uh i went back to this is a gold tip 250 spine what's that mean it means it's real stiff and the the arrow's heavy this is a carbon arrow but it's it's heavier than them skinny little arrows and then i did something i was surprised that uh he told me to do and it, that's that again that's on the ranch very youtube channel to load my front end with a hundred grain brass insert right there you'll see it and then screw a hundred and twenty five grain feel point so I just tried it I came out here and I was surprised at how different it felt coming off the rest on my bow and then I observed and I saw how smooth the thing flew through the air and every time Every time I shot, I began to become more and more consistent with my bow. And I became more and more consistent just by the simple change of the arrow. So I started listening to that guy, and I, I dropped all of my mechanical broadheads. And I went to a fixed three-blade broadhead that I could sharpen. I went to a 125-grain broadhead. I loaded the front end. Again, with this brass insert, you can get those at Three Rivers Archery, okay? You want to buy the, buy the right size arrows. These are, these are not skinny arrows. These are large diameter arrows with a standard. I just use whatever it comes with. Now, Ranch Ferry kind of dives into bow tuning and all that. I haven't gotten into all that. 
I'm very happy with this change. All these years, I thought, well, I just can't shoot. All these years, I thought, well, my bow isn't tuned. And I would shoot the bow on Tuesday night, and it would shoot okay at 25 yards. I would be in the kill zone every shot. Then I'd come out on Thursday night, and I'd shoot, and I'd be all over the place. What happened? Well, it, it was the inconsistency of my arrows. And now I get back 35, 40 yards, and... It's true, you'll experience a little more drop with the arrow, but I'm looking to shoot my deer at 20 yards, okay? I practice at 35, 40 yards, but I'm looking to shoot my deer at 20 yards. I, sh I hunt in tight cover, and if that deer comes out, he that's how far away he's going to be. So, uh, that's my setup. That is the one thing that has changed. So, if you're going out to buy some arrows, all right? Don't always do exactly what the industry tells you. The industry has its own interests at heart and not yours, okay? Heavy arrows, front end, fixed broadheads. Yeah, I learned the hard way. Those mechanical razor blade thingies, yeah, they're not, they're not any good. I've, I've shot deer with them and I've killed deer with them. I never had a complete pass through on a wild hog, all right? And I was hunting wild hogs. And I got within 25 yards of a 180 pound boar hog. And I shot that boar hog with this setup. And I got a complete pass through. That's the first time that's ever happened. That, that hog was dead, uh, yeah, in 50 yards. And uh, it was a great hunt with a heavy arrow, heavy front end. All right, so that's my tip. We're going fishing before it gets too hot. Love you guys. See you. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. Again, this is the Wild Treasures of an Outdoorsman YouTube channel. Love you. See you. Bye.